For those of you who are Photoshop users and are used to dodgy and burning, I wanted to talk about something that I've noticed recently, and I'm not sure whether or not it just started happening or it has been there for a while, or maybe it's just my operating system. But effectively, the main problem is that the controls themselves in Photoshop are becoming really interesting when it comes to the brush tool. So when I'm dodging and burning, the brush tool itself tends to actually um, disappear in different regions where the colors or the shades are quite neutral. So for instance, I'm using the brush tool right now. And as you can see on my screen, when it's over an area which is light, it'll turn darker. When it's area and over which is darker, it'll turn lighter to give you an idea of where the brush is located. However, when it hits a point which is neutral gray, it kind of disappears like this. And what I mean by disappears is that I can see it now, except when I push down on the brush and start working, you can't really see the brush cursor that much anymore. Now that area wasn't too bad, but take a look at this. I'm gonna hover over and it's gonna disappear before I get there. So I'm gonna tell you where I'm going. Right where the lips are, when you look to the left of the lips at the bottom, that gray area next to the chin. So I'm gonna start going there and you'll see the cursor just start fading in and blending into that area. Working in an area like this makes it really, really difficult when the actual cursor itself is, uh, <laughs> as you can see, invisible for the most part because it just doesn't know what to do. Now, when I actually push down on the, on the um, stylus itself and start working, it won't change contrast based on areas anymore. It'll just stay that, you know, gray kind of, tone with the cursor. So I have no idea what's happening. And if I'm using a low flow or something like that, it just makes it impossible to see what's happening. So again, I'm using Photoshop 2020 and the version that I'm using, and I'll show you right now, is going to be version 21.1.0. So what I actually ended up doing just to see if it was me or if it was Photoshop or what, was I went to Creative Cloud then where it says where my Photoshop app is installed, I went and clicked on these three dots. I said other versions. I scrolled down and installed 20.0.9. Now, based on when you are watching this video, this version might not even be available to you. However, I would recommend downloading it, keeping it in your system, just in case Photoshop does tend to kind of remove that version from Creative Cloud. And I say that because that version itself ended up actually fixing my solution. So that told me that Photoshop's latest updates have actually changed the way the cursors look. Here I have Photoshop, you know, CC 2019, which is the version that I installed in Creative Cloud, which I showed you here at the bottom. Let me just dub double check again. So you are familiar with what I installed 20.0.9, which shows up as quote unquote 2019, making it very easy for all of us to understand. Um, is the version that I'm using here. Same image, I can open up the same photo in another version of Photoshop. Now I'm using Mac OS X on the latest version of the operating software. And so I wasn't sure whether or not, you know, it's the operating system, it's a version of Photoshop, maybe it's even Windows versus Mac, I'm not entirely sure. But if you have a Mac um, and you're experiencing this problem, then you know you're not alone. If you're having a PC, and you by chance are not even having this problem at all, then that's a good thing. Um, so I'm not really sure how the versions vary or the operating systems vary. But now that I'm in 2019 again, take a look. I'm using the same brush tool, okay? I'm in the same areas that I used to have a problem in, but it does such a good job of being able to um, make sure the cursor has enough contrast for you to actually notice it. Because when I'm dodging and burning at a high-end level, I'm actually using a brush tool, which is, you know, relatively small. And I really need to see it without having to um, focus so much. And unfortunately, on the latest versions, I've been unable to dodge and burn so much in them. So what I'm actually doing now is just using this version for my whole retouching process. Now, obviously, this image is a work in progress. It's not done yet. But, um, you know, this is a good example of what's actually happening for me. And I wanted to make this in case it's happening for other people too. This wasn't an update that I've noticed um, in the tech support. So this isn't something that I think Photoshop has even announced that they're gonna change the cursor and how it interacts with the image. But I've just noticed this because I am a nerd and I live in Photoshop all day, every day. And, and an image like this 
when I'm hovering over a neutral gray area, it stays white, which makes sense, which it should stay white. It stays white when I hover over a uh, luminosity, which is quite dark. Um, and when I come over to an area which is, you know, quite light, it turns darker. So that way, I know exactly what I'm looking at, no matter what luminosity range is underlying underneath the actual cursor. In contrast to Photoshop um, of the most recent versions, the cursor is really hard to see now. I have no freaking idea how large it is unless I move over and get a glimpse of it because it tends to like make these little sparkles based on if I actually hover over an area which it deems is light enough to display or, or dark enough to display a light version or light enough to display a darker version. But when you're in the middle like this, it displays this like neutral gray cursor. And I don't know what they were thinking, but it's impossible. So I decided that maybe if I just analyze the way the cursor looks, um, we'll notice that this neutral gray cursor here, let me try and hover over an area that brings that neutral gray cursor back here like this. It, um, it really is neutral gray. And I think it's, you know, it has a really thin border. So it's compounding the issue make it really hard to notice the difference between where I'm brushing and what the cursor color is. Um, and if anybody has any ideas on how to get it back to how it was in 2019 in the most updated versions, or, you know, if you guys are actually having the same problem, I would love to know in the comments as well, because I can imagine that, you know, Creative Cloud is not going to be able to keep these other versions for a long period of time. And this version here is on the chopping block, which means that any further updates along this list means that the other versions list will get uh, um, chopped off. So this might not be there for long. And if you by chance have Creative Cloud, I would highly recommend to install this version as well, because you can keep multiple versions installed on your system, um, which makes it really easy for you to go back on in case you have a problem like I do. And now because of this issue, I'm simply just retouching everything in this version. And to be fair, I don't really need anything in the most recent version, so I don't really use it. Um, and again, if you guys are having the same problem, or if you know a solution, I'd love to know. And um, if you are experiencing experiencing this on a PC, please tell me as well, because I don't have access to one at this current moment. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And I wanted to make this video because if you guys are having this problem, um, I wanted to actually, you know, be there to tell you that I am as well. And it's not something that's uncommon.